My name is Chris Gamlin. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. We're here at the Google Conversations. It's our first time in Ghana, me and my wife. We heard about this event through the Google Network, and we're here to see about immigration, to learn all the different things. We're looking at repatriating to Ghana. And so this is a very important part for us to get some heads up on how to move throughout this country. Hello guys, my name is Anthony Chamipe. I'm the founder of Caveman Watches. It's a great opportunity to be here as a speaker. A very great platform that is uniting the diaspora with uh, Ghanaian society to grow, create opportunities for investment and networking. This is why Africa needs to connect and grow. My name is Beto Gadagui. I'm a West African. I'm, I work with Ecobank. I love Africa. Ecobank is the largest Pan-African bank. We are 33 countries, offices in Paris, other places. We welcome all of you from the diaspora. We welcome all protocol of Zevu Lice, uh, government officials going to make things happen. Denta and um, Cynthia and the team from Cuba. We are a bank, we are your partner. Uh, we welcome you. Hi, I'm Carlita Cash. I do cryptocurrency. I educate people on cryptocurrency, blockchain, and Web3. It's my first time here at the Diaspora Conversation Conference. Uh, it's been an amazing event. I've been able to network with people, uh, get to understand how Ghana works, and bringing a business here to Ghana. I'm really excited. And just hearing the different experiences of people here in Ghana has been uh, phenomenal. And knowing that you can have a successful business here in Ghana. My name is Lynette Della. Um, I'm based in the UK. I'm a head of new build development in the UK. Currently transitioning to doing new build developments in Ghana. And today, yeah, I've had the opportunity to be at the Guba um, Diaspora Network event today. And it's been a fantastic event. There's been a wonderful lineup of speakers from different government institutions, speaking to other diasporans and you know hearing people sharing their journeys and so forth and giving key tips for those of us who want to transition to the Ghana. For some reason this is the first time I've actually had the opportunity to be at this event and it's been a very worthwhile event you know especially being the beginning of the year getting the opportunity to, you know to really hit the ground running. I've met some fantastic people this afternoon and I'd recommend for anybody they've also got a networking group which you can also sign up to build connections get to get more knowledge understand the infrastructure of Ghana for anybody who wants to transition over when you have five years multiple visa and you enter Ghana you can continue to stay in Ghana for five years it is the same way you can continue to stay in the US for five years because you have a five years multiple visa when you arrive at the airport the immigration officer upon interrogation, upon questioning and your discussion will know how long you actually want to stay and will, you are entitled to 60 days maximum and 30 days minimum. I'm very happy to be here uh, JJ at the Guba conference. This is a wonderful conference. As you saw, this is the third time they hold it. And the purpose of this is to bring the diaspora, both uh, Ghanaian diaspora and the Afro-Americans and other people to, to Ghana, to see how we can do uh, networking and business. And not only that, to know how the business environment and the networking environment in Ghana. And some of it is, has to do with the different cultures. So as we come to Ghana, we need to understand the culture, but also respect uh, our culture here in Ghana. And some of the panelists included the people from government. So the first part was the government people on land, on registration, on ID card, which was very interesting. And the second part was uh, on the panelists on how to do business. And uh, one of the three key uh, points is that number one, we have to start our business very small and grow the business. Number two, investment. You start investment with yourself and your customers, then you grow. And the other thing is respect. So I want to move on to uh, Surveyor Jones of Badu about land. How many of you in here are looking to get land in Ghana or if you have land already? A few. And, and land is something that is very significant, especially for the diaspora, because you feel like you're owning a piece of Africa. My name is Judah Mwanko. I'm from Boston, uh, United States. Uh, this is my first time coming to this conference. I'm a business owner. I own my own marketing agency. Um, coming to this conference has been like a, a real breath of fresh air. It lets you know how you can connect, how you can network, 
The panelists were great. Um, everything they talked to us today was great. It helped me have a better idea of how I want to expand here in Ghana. So I'm looking forward to continue to come to more of these conferences and stay able to network and connect. Hi, my name is Erica Stewart. I am here from New York. I've come to Ghana every year for the past four or five years. Starting in 2019, I have been looking for different investment opportunities, either for myself or for other investors that I'm connected to or represent. Um, I heard about this conference. I came for the first time two years ago. I'm a girlfriend of mine who is Ghanaian American. She comes, so she suggested I attend. So she reminded me that this was happening this week, and so I attended today. There are always great speakers. I mean, there's a lot of subjects that are covered thoroughly. You get to know a lot of new companies, great opportunities. You can follow up with everyone. Um, you also build a good and healthy network with people who are here on the ground, so you get to feel exactly what that is. And also, one of the most important things that I really love about this conference versus the others I've been to is people are so honest. Like, they will talk about the bribes. They will talk about the problems. You get to know what it's like to really do business in Ghana with Ghanaians. And they don't fluff it over so that you're confused when you actually try to go do that work. For diasporans, if you are here and you want to establish a business having gone through the irrigation process and then uh, acquired a land and set up a business as an entrepreneur, you are also entitled to benefits when you retire. The best way to describe Ghana is the story of three O's. Opportunity, openness, and optimism. So it's been a pleasure coming here to talk about returnees and coming back to Africa and sharing insightful experience sees from the different panelists. It was a joy to talk with them, share my knowledge, and I wish I had access to a network like that when I came down. It wasn't that easy, finding information was not as readily available as this now. I come from France, so wherever you are coming from, come to Ghana, it's a very peaceful country, and Guba Network will help you settle down. It's been an amazing conference. Um, there's been lots of great panelists so far sharing all kinds of different aspects of doing business in Ghana and investing in Ghana and just generally um, profiling and being a Ghanaian. Hi everyone, my name is Priscilla Osse. I'm from the UK. I moved to America to do my MBA and I decided to stay there. For the past two years, I've been back to Ghana establishing businesses some short term, some long term. This is my first time in the Guba conference and it's amazing. I'm actually very humbled with the amount of diasporans that have actually moved here. I feel privileged to actually have learned so much from the French community down to, you know, the various other Western spaces. It doesn't take a lot to actually, you know, come to Ghana and do something, but it takes a community, it takes networking to actually get to the destination you want to get to in terms of your business. My name is Delali Kotoka and I work with Pay Angel and I want to welcome everyone to this year's Diaspora Conversations Conference 2024. This year, 2024, we are here to support as well and we are looking forward to help the diaspora community to remit money back into 11 African countries. We remit money from UK, Canada, Australia, the Europe, and we are looking forward to starting uh, the US corridor as well. So join us and let's have fun, understand the concepts in Ghana. Guba has come to stay and we will be always here to support Guba through all that they do. a big role in the development of the continent. What we bring to the table is a lot, but we need to be patient. When you do come to Ghana, you need to have that patience. It's not gonna be something that comes overnight. You have to nurture it and you have to be consistent. And so if you haven't registered with the Guba Diaspora Network, we are your soft landing to Ghana. We provide everything for you. We guide you, whether it's government officials that you wanna meet, whether it's other people, other businesses, we help you with that.